So basically, when you're underwriting a deal, the general contractor, the plan of who's going to do the work is critically important to underwrite. And you never know as the operator, like Paul, Paul hires a reputable person that's in his local town and they make an agreement and this guy has a good heart and he's doing extra stuff, which is great. But then all of a sudden, he's not following the scope and he needs a, he needs a draw. He's behind schedule. And this is what happens. Out, and we were laughing about this in the parking lot one day because uh, we were, I think we were talking about how, whether to pay a payment to the contractor. And I asked where this, you know, what the status of the shower construction was. And we found out that it wasn't as far ahead as it needed to be to send this payment. But Paul with his big, huge watermelon sized heart just wants to send the payment to help the guy out. And what happens when you do that? What can happen when you get ahead of your payments with your contractor? Yeah, they lose incentive to show up and get their job completed. They have their money. Yep, that's the problem. Yep. And yep. what happens too is these guys are good people for the most part. They have families to feed. Yep. They have jobs to do. What are you going to do if you have a completed job that's already been, or a halfway done job that's already been paid, or you got a new job starting down the street that hasn't paid you yet that's about to send you your first payment when you start it? You get behind is the point. And then you make they take the money yep. that you've been paid and you pay your bills and you pay your food and you pay your mortgage. And then you get behind and then you're, it's a constant game of catch up. So for the investor, the operator, and, and this is Paul, this is just something that's happened to me a million times as we we're talking about, it. but we have to figure out ways to keep the contract, keep the contractor incentivized to finish the project without paying them too much that they have no incentive left.